Wow, Gregory, you're not only are you like a piece of crap character, both literally and metaphorically, like you're just like you couldn't even poison Maggie, right? Like I was expecting like something bad to happen to Maggie, and then you see Jesus like rain hell on you, but like, like she she's like she's somewhat okay, like she's she's showing signs of like like drowsiness and like dizziness and all of this, but for the most part she's okay. Anyway, what is up, ladies and gents? Nate here, bringing you my review for The Walking Dead comic book issue number 138, known as Confrontation. Both meaning, because we get to meet the leader of the Whisperers, and we, uh, we see Jesus confront, uh, what's his face? Gregory. Piece of, piece of crap character, I can't even remember his name. Anyway, this is the last issue for the, I forgot what the volume name is, but if you guys don't know, for The Walking Dead comic book, there are six issues within a volume. And those volumes are like pretty much essentially an arc for the story, and this is the last one for the Whispers arc for the most part, like the the, the introduction to the Whispers at least. So we start off straight from where we ended uh, last month, where we see Gregory poison or Rufy Maggie, and then essentially Jesus walks in, and he essentially <laughs> so we see Jesus confront Gregory by punching him in the face. And he says, you're a dead man. He threatens Gregory. And Gregory, being the coward that he is, he's like, I didn't do anything. She she just fell and stuff. And, and he's essentially being like Eugene from the comic, from the show, where he's like a big coward. And like, even like even when he's locked up, he's like, you don't have any evidence to get me against me and all of this. And I'm like, yo, Gregory, shut the hell up. Like, you couldn't even poison Maggie, right? She even straight out says, you want to lead this community? You can't even poison me correctly. And it's like, damn, Gregory, you just got burned from the person you just tried to poison that didn't even work successfully because you're a piece of crap character. But I do have to like how Robert Kirkman writes Gregory because, like, he's literally a piece of crap character. Like, he can't get anything done, but he's also, like, a scumbag towards, like, everyone else. So with that out of the way, we learn through Lydia... Uh, about the whispers and some sort of stuff that they that they do, and and it, and this is right after her, both Lydia and Carl, like you know they um. <coughs> anyway, when Lydia was with the whispers, they essentially raped her pretty much. And something interesting about the issue, or about this issue just in general, that really piqued my interest, so to say, is when Lydia says rape is just a word for us to use as when we were in a society as a word to differentiate us from monsters or from animals. I'm like, that's that's very interesting, Lydia. It's and thing is like no matter what, and it's just like morally right that or morally lawful that rape is wrong. Period. Like you can call it whatever you want, but either way, rape is just is just wrong in, in general. Like it's it's just wrong and I don't know why Japan like keeps on making like rape hentai and all of this whatnot because it's just wrong and I don't know why people get off of that but anyway on to the main topic so with Maggie feeling a little bit better after her encounter with Gregory and locking him up we learn that the whispers are outside the hilltop colony and the uh, the leader which we find out is a woman and not only that she calls herself the alpha is the mother of Lydia and we find out they just want to trade trade Lydia for the group of men that they they essentially attacked in a few issues back but they didn't kill them it looked like they killed them but apparently they didn't and they just uh they trade and I like how Robert Kirkman so far is writing the whispers like they essentially they only attacked uh, uh Jesus and his men essentially because they were on the the whispers land which it's kind of it's kind of weird because you know it's it's land and you can't really claim land and stuff like that anyway uh, essentially, they just attack because of that reason, and not only that, they're they're pretty rational for what we know or for what we saw so far. Because they they could have attacked the Hotel Colony right away, and everyone essentially both sides would be screwed. But they were pretty reasonable. They were like, "Hey, we have your people. You have my daughter. Let's let's trade and just just get this over with. Just don't come onto our land anymore, and you won't be attacked. And just yeah, that's about it." Now, the thing is, the other thing that interested me is that Lydia is the daughter of the Alpha, which essentially is the leader of the Whispers, and yet they they essentially let, I'm assuming the Alpha let, just like gave Lydia to the Whispers just so that they can rape her. So, it definitely sees where, like, where Alpha, the Alpha is essentially with her daughter, because even, 
even when uh, Lydia gives her tries to give her a hug, she says, "Thanks, mom." And then Lydia's like, "You know what to call me. You call me the Alpha, like just like everyone else." And she's like, "Okay, Alpha." And it's 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 a different point of view on seeing this parenting because as we've seen so far, the only parents that we've seen are both Maggie with Sophia, Maggie and Glenn with Sophia, and Rick and Andrea with Carl, and a few other kids. But they essentially like they're all dead anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But essentially just Carl and Sophia are just like two prime examples where you see both Maggie and Rick care for their child a lot. Like they just, they, like they're living for them. The reason why they're surviving so far is because of them because they want to make this a better place for the kids. Now is Carl happy with this decision of just giving Lydia away? Not so much because essentially after Lydia tells Carl that she was essentially raped when she was with the Whisperers, she, uh, he's like, oh I'll protect you no matter what Lydia and all of this. And Maggie being the, she's, she's more rational towards this decision and saying, Carl, you were with her for one day. Like, shut the hell up. Like, just one day. Like, like, and essentially Maggie doesn't know that they banged. And I guess Carl being the teenager that he is, he, uh, he has hormones going throughout his body. He's like, no, I gotta protect her. I said I would. And all of this. And essentially, he goes on a road trip to go follow them. So, let's see what that leads to. And when Maggie brings Ken and Marco, I believe their names are, or Marcus, uh, they talk about how the Whispers, they're not cannibals. They just eat, like, rabbits and all of this whatnot. Like, they were feeding them. They were feeding uh, Maggie's men pretty well. But, like, whenever they traveled, and they traveled pretty much every day, they would blindfold them so they didn't know where they were going. And we learned that uh, there might be a thousand of them. So, that's, that's an issue. So, yeah, that was essentially the issue. I gotta give the issue... Uh, an A, because I feel like it deserves it, essentially, because all the build-up that we had, essentially the whispers and Gregory, it it wasn't like like an explosion or like something like huge, like something from an action movie would be like you would see the whispers attacking and all of this, but it was a more rational this ending to this arc so far. Like we meet the leader of the whispers, that being Alpha, and that she's. More or less a more rational person than Negan, who would just like, I feel like he would just like straight up attack everyone, like just attack the Hilltop Colony. And then we also see Gregory just fail as like an antagonist. Just, yeah. And and thing is, like, I guess you can bash the issue for that, but thing is, that's Gregory's character. He's just a piece of crap in general, so like, might as well, he might as well screw up too. And thing is, this month, in the month of March, we actually get two issues. We get one not next week, but the week after. And it's a pretty interesting cover because it's Rick looking out to the ocean, I'm assuming. And he, we see a boat. And I forgot what the title is, but it's on the issue. It's like something of a new world. And it's definitely interesting. So whenever that comes out, obviously I'll review it for you guys. So yeah. With all that being said, I don't have a question for you guys. I'm sorry. But anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the review. But don't forget to leave a like if you think the video deserves it. Subscribe to my channel if I interchange your face for a little bit. And you like what you saw. Anyway, I'll see you guys in all in a little bit for Parasite. So until then, bye.